In this demo, we're going to look at how to get the stencil level, okay? And we're also going to look at how to get it central. Now this one, to make it easier, it's already been done, okay? So what we've done here is you've got your door frame, measure from your curving to your door frame and half it. So put a mark there. Then whatever this measurement is from your curving down to that point, come along the other side and measure down here. Okay. Once you've done that, once you've got them two points, you can use your snap line, your chalk line, and you can snap a line right the way across. If you've got a friend to do it with, brilliant. If not, you can be really in intuition-ish and stick the piece of string with masking tape, okay? So once we've got the line going across, what we're then going to do is we're going to find the centre line, okay? So we're going to measure from that corner to that corner, find the centre and then drop the plumb line down. The reason you're doing this is to keep the stencil straight. Another thing you can do as well, if you want to, you can mark a line in pencil right the way across the centre of the stencil. And then you know every time you offer it up, you're getting it dead straight. Okay? What you need, then need to do is just make sure that it's nice and flat on the surface and there's no buckling. Like that. Once you've got it central like that, Double check it might be slightly, slightly out. First one, first one is the most important to get that absolutely dead centre. Once that's dead centre, smooth it out. Be careful you're not um, leaving this tape on too long or else it could pull the eggshell off. Now you're ready to start. So what you'll need to start is these items. You need a little tray, a bit of matte emulsion or eggshell. It doesn't matter as long as it's water-based. Stipple brush if you want to, a sponge and the blade. You can use this as well as a scraper and it's just to hold the stencil down. What I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna start off with a sponge because I prefer to use a sponge. You're better off using a pair of steps for this as well because then you've got all your equipment in front of you and you don't have to keep getting up and down. So just with a flat bit of the sponge there, so found the flat end. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take out the excess on here and get your scraper or your filling blade and you're going to start wherever. It doesn't matter where you start, but what you must do is hold the stencil flat to the surface because if you just carry on stenciling it's going to keep jumping off the surface and the paint's going to creep underneath so get a nice sharp edge when you use a filling blade or a scraper and remember there's not much paint in that and i'm just going to build up the paint like this okay so i'm not going to splodge it because if i splodge it it's going to go under the stencil so I'm just going to build up the paint by gently dabbing it like that. Okay, and then make sure that you're working always with your stencil attached to the surface with either your filling blade or your scraper. Like that, and make sure you wash these when you finish with them as well. Now, when you get to the end of your stencil, you'll probably have to give it five or 10 minutes before you can offer the next piece up. So it's always good to have something else, another project along, or just work in your portfolio. As long as you've just got something you can work on just while you're waiting for this to end. You see, I'm not rushing. Okay. Now when you take it off, I'm not gonna take it off yet because I'm not finished, but if you take your stencil all the way off, and then find you've missed the slight bit. What you can't do is then reposition it perfectly. So the best thing you can do when you're ready to take it off, just pull down the top like that. So the bottom's still on, like so. And then you can put it back on like that. Okay. 
and then if you have missed any you can carry on so again just working along like this until you've covered the whole stencil so i'll stop that there and we'll come back when that when the whole whole section it, when i've finished it and it's dried once the first stencil's on then you can align your second stencil now remember you've got these which are your registration marks okay that's slightly smaller than that one what i've done is i've measured this one okay and that's 28 millimeters so what i've done here i've started from the end of the last square just measured up to here and that's 28 millimeters okay what i've also done is align this across okay so that's still aligned and i've checked my measurement on that one so what you're going to get is you're going to get this point going into the last circle okay so just as you did the first one holding it down with your scraper stenciling it and then what you're going to do with the next piece once this piece is dried you're going to again use your 28 millimeter width millimeter and you're just going to overlap so you're only going to have a small amount of this square showing that you're going to fill in and then you're going to carry on what that's going to do that's going to make all your rectangles at the top and the bottom equal okay